Hey everyone, it's Lexi. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a spoiler-free review of The Clockmaker's Daughter by Kate Morton. And this is the newest Kate Morton book that came out this month. So I was super excited for this book coming out because I'm a huge Kate Morton fan. I've loved her books like The Secret Keeper and The Forgotten Garden. So you know that I was really super excited for this one to come out. So I was like... I w didn't even read the synopsis going into this because I wanted to just kind of immerse myself into it. And so basically the premise of this story is that it follows a woman named Lodi who in present day is kind of like an like does archives and she stumbles upon this box with this leather satchel that has this mysterious notebook with sketches in it and this picture of this woman. And so that kind of leads her on to a kind of a quest to find the owner of this book and she soon finds out that it did belong to this very kind of um, tragic uh, painter during the kind of late 1800s who passed away tragically at a young age who kind of had this mysterious kind of fallout where his fiance was shot um, in his house in the country and he kind of spiraled after that so she's kind of investigating what kind of who this uh, painter was. While this is also happening, we're getting flashbacks from um, Birdie, who is a ghost that lives in this house, and we don't really know who, what her true role is in with this story. We just know that she's somehow connected to the events that transpired that fateful night where um, the painter's fiance was killed. So I don't know, I think this is so, this book was so interesting, and it had a very, like I said, it had a very, different feel than her other ones. There was almost a supernatural um, element in here that I was taken by surprise and I actually was very pleased with. It was very interesting and I really liked seeing that side of it and I really fell in love with Birdie and her story and it's again very sad as well but what I love about Kate Morton is she's so atmospheric and I could picture myself at this this house in the countryside. I could picture, picture it perfectly and what, I, what another great aspect is like there's so many different stories in here and when you're reading it like I don't understand how this is relevant to the story but at the end like they all weave together throughout t different like throughout time and it's really interesting to see that basically from the 1800s to present day and how these stories were all wo interwoven together was just really fun and so like I said some parts I was like I don't see how this is relevant to the storyline like I don't know where this is going so uh, but I was pleasantly surprised that everything so everything was connected later on at the end and I really liked that because it was done so seamlessly and it all fell together very well so I was really really enjoying that and yeah it was just really interesting I think I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars I did feel like not as much of a connection to some of these characters as I done before because some of them we were just introduced to very briefly but I still really love this I finished like the last like third of the book in one sitting like I could not put it down it was so good so I highly recommend you check this book out it was just amazing and it's definitely one of my favorites of 2018 so it was well worth the wait because I was eagerly anticipating it um but yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you've read this book and what you thought about it and what's your current favorite Kate Morton book I think mine is The Secret Keeper um but this one is definitely in my top three um so yeah, so that's it guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.